We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Welcome back, people. This is Demigod Christie for another countdown. And this time, you'll be needing a box of tissue and a bottle of lotion. Oh, wait a minute, I think that's not right. Let me do that again. Uh, you'll be needing a box of tissue because you'll be counting down the top five saddest moments in the Red Dead Redemption 2. The Red Dead Redemption 2 is, is a wonderful game full of content and a um, game with multi-layered characters and it's so amazing and there's a lot of uh, tear-jerking scenes in the Red Dead Redemption 2. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish gaming content every day, so like and subscribe and don't forget to push the notification button so you'll be informed whenever we up upload a new video. And of course, spoiler alert. This is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At number five. The story of Isaac, Arthur's son. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but... I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. At number four. Hosea and Lenny's death. Lenny and uh, Hosea's death, especially Hosea, had a tremendous effect on Arthur as well as the entire Vanderlyn gang. It was Jose that kept Dutch grounded. But when he died, everything went downhill. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. Are they it... just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. It pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Touch! Come on, boys. Coming up at number three. The death of Arthur Morgan's horse. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on. Push, Arthur! Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Yeah. And on number two. Here, uh, sure. 
Arthur contracts tuberculosis. What's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh, you got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And like I said, I, I'm real sorry. <sighs> And of course at number one, oh, Arthur Morgan's death. It is over now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dad. He's right. You know it, and I know it. I gave you all I had. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Damn you. Damn us both! <laughs> Do you agree with my list? Okay. Write in the comments below if I've left out anyone that you feel should be on the list. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> Thank you for watching and like and subscribe on my channel. And feel free to leave a comment on your requests. Have a good one.